In this lesson, we'll review a math question from the problem solving section. We're on page 733, question 15. Out of 16, this is a difficult problem. We're given the shape, sort of looks like a bow tie, and we're told that this angle here is n, and we want to find the degree measures of all of these little arrowed angles. Now, there's a couple ways to do this problem, and I've mentioned in the past, if you follow these lessons, you can always do problems academically. But I also stress sort of more reasoning-based approaches, and everyone thinks better in concrete terms versus abstract terms. Abstract terms would be solving this problem algebraically. Again, you may get it right, but I'm just going to try and show you an alternative method that makes this much easier. Concrete terms will put in a value and make it much more objective. So what I mean by that is let's start with n. I don't know what n is, but I can pick a value. I'm just going to assign any value. Now one caveat. If you're picking for geometry-based questions, do not pick 90. You might end up with what's called a false positive. But other than that, any number will work. Let's just say n is 100. We're going to label that. We've got to follow the rules. So if n is 100, right, we know right, supplementary angle is 180. This has to be 80. And here's another line, so that's 80. So now we want the degree measure of these and these. Now, if they're both 80, obviously they're opposite, and we've already proved they're 80 because n is next to it. These two would be 100 because we know all triangles equal 180, and these two would be 100. So by making this concrete, we are looking for 200 as the answer when n equals 100. We are looking for the number 200. n is 100. Now we plug in the answers. Let's take a look. The only one that works, right? So if we just go down the list, A, we have n. n is just 100. We are looking, remember, for 200. The answer here is B. And b is just 2n, 2 times our n, which is 100, equals 200. You can go through the rest, and only one will work as long as you don't pick 90. But it's a really good technique if you're ever unsure. And this is a difficult problem. A lot of students missed it. Put in a value. It makes it much more concrete. The answer here is b. All right. See you next time. Thanks for watching.